I am going to be honest with you guys. When I got up this morning, I wasn't really feeling it. It was just one of those days where you can barely manage to drag yourself out of bed. It takes you multiple tries to get your pants on right. The water in the shower knows no other temperature than Arctic, and you're halfway down the street before you realize you're not wearing matching shoes. But then I remembered that the night before, I received an email about an early look at a game that I've been looking forward to ever since I learned of its existence. Castles in the Sky by Dan Pierce and Jack DeKeat is the debut game of recently founded development studio The Tall Trees, and tells a story of imagination and wonder through the eyes of a child as he floats amongst the clouds. Just what the doctor ordered for a day like this. Castles in the Sky isn't so much a game as it is an interactive story or poem accompanied by beautifully composed piano music, courtesy of Jack DeKeat. The score is so diverse and well done that I wanted to stop playing and just let it run in the background, imagining my own adventure between the clouds, wiping away the occasional tear. I resisted the urge, though. Graphics-wise, the game kind of surprised me. The visuals are all based on sprites, but the animations behind them make them really come to life. Tiny details such as wind or smoke look really convincing and feel adequately cartoony, just enough to be cute and lovable. The game isn't exactly the longest I've seen, clocking in at about 10 to 15 minutes, and the interaction is limited to jumping at the right time in order to reach the next cloud. There are multicolored rings to be collected along the way to the top, but the game knows no scoring system or final count of how many of the rings you collected at the end. Instead, they seem to emit a rather pleasing chime whenever you collect them. The game controls exclusively with a mouse, which is nice and responsive with just the right amount of floatiness you would expect in the clouds. Overall, the whole experience left me with a sense of wonder and adventure, and I can't wait to learn the whole poem by heart to be able to recite it to my children someday. If you would like to know more about this game, you can click on the link in the description below. That will take you to the website, which is also the place where you'll be able to pre-order before the game is released on Friday the 18th. Also, don't forget to follow both developers on Twitter. The links to their profiles are below, so go tell them I sent you and how awesome they are. That's all I have for this week's In The Beginning. Thank you for watching. It's been a crazy few weeks for me, which is why this video is going up on a Friday instead of a Monday. But don't worry, regular schedule will resume shortly. My name has been Sutland Ninja, and I hope you have a wonderful week. Goodbye.